Now the gray whale knows we're here. It sensed us. It senses all these other boats. Big okay. blow. Again, that's that rounded heart-shaped mist blow that you see from the grays. Now this whale is going to continue southbound between the islands and they're still about 400 miles away from their final destination. Okay. Big blow again. Now this activity that we're watching right now is called snorkeling. When the whale comes up to the surface, we see the blows. It's only going down about six to eight feet. It's not going down very deep. It's staying right there on the surface. There's the blow. That means the whale just sounded and went down for a deep dive. Now imagine if you're swimming in the pool and you want to get to the bottom of the 10 feet. You've got to raise your legs up above you, get in a diving position in order to get down deep. That's the same concept with the gray whales. They're not the most aggressive. They're not the strongest swimming whales out there. So they have to raise that tail fluke above their head and then go down for a deep dive. Now this typically means we're going to see them down for roughly first. With each swiping of the tail that it literally slicks the water. Now this is one of the main reasons grays were nearly hunted to extinction. Oh no, now he's turning towards the sailboat. Tail fluke. They were very easy to track because the harpooners would just wait and watch the fluke prints. Then they'd be able to guess where the whales were going to show up at. swimming kind of in an inland direction right out there two o'clock couple hundred feet hopefully we'll get a good tail fluke for you guys keep watching for it just ahead of us here to the right There it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right, that time the whale actually lifted his eyes out of the water. He wanted to get a quick peek at what's going on around him. Just keep watching that direction. You can see the fluke print, that small slick spot where he just went down. And hopefully we'll get a tail fluke on the next surface. Out of the tail fluke there. Uh, that whale is sounding, definitely going down. Looks like some of the sailboats starting to work their way in. Maybe we'll try to stick with this guy for one more show. Wow! All right, there we go, folks. Unfortunately, this guy is going uh, directly east. I want him to turn south, but he's right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was awesome. Uh, I don't think I got him. He's still there, it looks like. Look, look, guys, look. Look, look, Harry. Oh, wow, look at that. His tail's probably going to come up this time. I hope not. All right, right there, 2 o'clock, a couple hundred feet. Second spout. Will's moving at a decent speed, not too fast. Not too slow, right around three and a half, four miles an hour. Now you'll see the water go clear right when he's about to surface. There it comes. All right, a little bit of a semi-aggressive rolling of the back there. Maybe see the tail fluke on the next spout, so keep your eyes peeled for it. Right there, guys. Again, watch the water. The water is going to go very clear when he shows up on the surface. There you go. Big spout. No tail fluke yet. Putting about a 15 to 50 foot gap between his uh, fluke prints. Probably not going to stay down too long. It might go down for a minute or two, but it'll probably show back up again. We did not see a tail fluke, so keep your lenses trained. We don't necessarily have to see a tail fluke for the whale to do a deep dive. They are capable of getting down deeper, but probably not going to stay down as long without that tail fluke above them. Huh. Where did they go?
Another good sized blow. Yeah. That was cool last time. It's a whole big school of dolphins all around us, huh? on all sides. Yeah. This time we're seeing more whales, but less. It's only a couple of whales. Again, I'm just going to let this whale continue south. Back. up to the surface there you go very slow moving whale not going very fast at all All right. <laughs> And you can actually see it right before it will spout on the surface. Another blow right there. Not quite tail fluke, but maybe on the next one. There we go, folks. Nine, ten o'clock now. Pretty close, right out there off the left-hand side. Rolling in the back right next to us now. This is about 
where you're supposed to be at, but you're not supposed to be much closer than this. And again, when you have uh, seven boats chasing you there. Alright, so right there on the surface still, 10 o'clock, not too far out. And we got another boat coming in to check it out, of course. Mm. Look how fast it comes in. Keep watching, hopefully we'll get one more tail fluke from this guy. There you go. Not a tail fluke there. tail fluke. Hopefully we'll get the tail fluke from this guy. Just cruising along. Another blow there on the surface. A lot of activity on the surface. Now again, this whale's only swimming down about six to eight feet deep. It's not going down very deep. Just watch the fluke prints kind of trail along. Here it comes up, watch for the blow. Here it comes up to the surface, there's a blow. No tail flukes from this whale. Now when the juveniles are born, they're not capable of deep dives, so you don't see tail flukes off of the juveniles. Uh, this whale is much bigger than a juvenile whale, so again, kind of surprised to see this behavior. Here it comes up again, there's the blow. Oh, 
I wish we had this on our clothes. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, tail fluke. <laughs> <laughs> 